just play with it. Have a lot of fun. This really hits that lower chest. Welcome back to Self Built. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you an awesome setup for your lower chest. This is a viewer suggested. So you suggest, I grant your wish. I've got two different lower chest exercises for you that feel fantastic. Of course, we are using the cable anchors because that is my latest invention that is just so much fun and I keep coming up with new things. Let me show you the first exercise. By the way, I hope my audio is different in a good way. I am experimenting with a new microphone, so hopefully it is as splendid as it's supposed to be. I've got my cable anchors at the top. Coming all the way down, we're using the lower pulleys. I've got a little bit of chain to bring it up, about a foot, foot and a half. I'm attaching some handles with the chain onto the chain, if that makes sense. You can see it better on this side here. With the anchors up here, it's gonna give it a very gentle arc. The reason that's gonna be gentle is because they're pretty long, so it's not gonna be as dramatic as if it was short. If your bench doesn't decline, this is a great way to hit your lower chest and not miss out because yours doesn't do that. I really like these handles. This might be an issue, we'll see how it goes. These handles feel really good. I just flip them like this. You can use any handle, but these just feel real nice. Just get into position. And then this is gonna be very similar. If you've used like a hammer strength decline machine, oh man, this feels like you're in it. Cause these handles, they don't rotate at all. And you're already in a really good stretched position. And as you bring your hands together, it forces you to get a really good stretch, stretch and contraction. And it gives you a few options. When you're doing this, you can decide to extend your arms a little bit more, more like a press if you want, or you can focus on more fully just bringing your hands together and not so much extending your elbows too much, making it a little bit more fly geared, but just play with it. Have a lot of fun. This really hits that lower chest. You just gotta get that incline at the right mark on your bench, and then also get the right swing and starting point on your cables, but I hope this gives you a great blueprint on this because this feels crazy good. Very happy I tried this one. Here's a different and better angle to see what's happening under the hood. All righty, get into position, easy peasy, got a good weight, then just boom, just let your chest take over. So if you're gonna do more of the press, you just kind of stretch your arms out. You're not going so much for the middle. I mean, this still feels good, but if you really wanna focus on just getting that fly motion, don't focus on stretching your arms too much. Ooh, just focus on bringing them together. Mm. Ooh, just play with it, have some fun. Ooh. Or, hey, oh man. Yeah, chest is so dead. So try those out, see what you think. We've got one more bad boy to set up on this one. The next setup is exactly the same as this. I don't need to change a thing. The only thing is we're gonna change a bar and lengthen the chain. Take these off real quick. One drawback is if you're not familiar with this setup, it can take a long time to get things ready. So unfortunately there is a learning curve and you might lose gym motivation or a pump if you are spending too much time. So just be aware of that, have a game plan and it'll save you a bunch of time and it'll still make your workouts really fun. All right, ta-da. So you see how long that took, got a bench, Getting in and out. There, since there's no tension on this, it's all here. I can just lift this up and bring it on down. I'll usually kind of scooch up a little bit just to get everything feeling good. And if you want, you can do like a shoulder grip on the press. But my favorite way 
I mean, I just tried this, so <laughs> play with all of it, but I like to bring my hands as close as they can. That way it really gives you extra stretch at the bottom. And when you're bringing it down, you're able to get a lot more chest activation. It makes it so your shoulders don't have to work as much and it just feels a lot better. But play with both, they both feel really nice. My chest is just quivering. And something cool about this setup with the anchors is typically it's a little bit easier at the bottom and it gets harder towards the top. Before I did these two exercises, I just did some free weight barbell press. And in my experience, when I'm training dumbbells, it's usually the bottom half that's trained the most, or at least the most fatigued. And the top portion is not so much. When you pair it with this, the top half is the more challenging part and the bottom part's easier. And I feel a much more complete pump and fatigue when I incorporate both. They're both really good. Man, <laughs> come on, Bessie. Ooh. <sighs> a good side view, of course, just to show you how easy it is to use. Just like there. This one gives you a little bit of freedom since it's not completely tied. It's got a little bit of wiggle room. You can kind of choose a little bit as to what angle you want to hit without it getting swung too much. So you can get pretty darn close to like a straight up and down if you're trying to go for any sort of pressing. So there's a lot of fun little tweaks that you can make to make it just the way you want it. Hope this video has been helpful for you. Taught you a couple of good lower chest tricks that you can do. And if you have any suggestions, comments, tweaks, or anything like that, let me know in the comments. And if you have suggestions on what you want me to build, let me know. That's what I'm all about. Seeing if I can help you guys out as much as you guys help me out. I appreciate you guys watching and I thank you for the support. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share all these wacky contraptions with all your friends at workout and see what they think. There's more goodies coming in the future. So don't forget to tune in next time for more sales.